Thank you so much. And for those of you who are wondering, yes, my earrings are 3D printed. And if you'd like the .stl files, just catch me afterwards, and I'd be happy to share them. Uh, it's such a pleasure to be here. And when I was invited to present, I thought back to 1990, because I'm old and have been in the industry a long time, and remembered when my partner, Paul Christensen and I won the Best New Product Award from Teddy Lauren for the ultraviolet waveguide laser, and which we uh, turned into the laser for LASIK eye surgery, which I will never have, um, but has helped lots of people. And I thought back to really how different the industry is now, and particularly that there are so many more women. My first Clio, there were 10,000 men and five women, of which I was one, and it meant that everyone remembered me. So it was very easy to move forward our company because I had a, an easy entree. But what has not changed in our industry is innovation. And Dr. Christensen, who in my mind is truly one of the most innovative scientists I've ever met and engineers, um, developed a product. He took an, an eczema laser that was the size of a coffin and using RF discharge turned it into the size of a PC. And we went on to build laser micromachining workstations to develop a lot of products for um, the early stages of the medical device industry. So we built the first stents for Johnson & Johnson. Um, we did so many innovative, creative things, but we didn't know it was called innovation then. We just knew we were doing wild stuff that was a lot of fun. And it's been a real pleasure since we sold Potomac to see how our uh, successor, Mike Adelstein, has taken Potomac to a whole new phase. Mike has incorporated 3D printing with laser micromachining to really come up with some amazing products that we're just so excited about in the cure for cancer, in microfluidics, and lots of really cool applications. But innovation is really, in my mind, what drives the world. I can solve any problem if we're innovative, and that doesn't necessarily mean with technology. Sometimes it means innovation in how we look at problems. Maybe it's how we organize structures, how we change organizations. So when I sold Potomac, I was very fortunate that MIT took me in and gave me a home, and I consult for the Center for Bits and Atoms at the Media Lab, and Neil Gershenfeld, who started uh, the Fab Lab movement, always says that the power of digital fabrication is social, not technical. And I want to give just one example of what that really means. We're now working with the International Committee of the Red Cross and the UN, and we are putting digital fabrication laboratories which have 3D printing, laser cutting and marking, CNC machining, CAD design, and we're putting them into places where people can't get the donations that countries like the US give. We have worked with uh, a doctor, an Israeli doctor on the left bank who is now 3D printing stethoscopes. What so often happens is you go to put um, uh, or, or go to get products into a, a war zone or a refugee camp, and they don't make it through customs. People are throwing, uh, uh, selling them on the black market. The the uh, governments are prohibiting the the transport of these kinds of things that people need. But just think if you had a fab lab in a war zone or in a refugee camp, and you can 3D print or a laser cut any tool that you need, and now you can get people exactly what they need in order to save lives. And these humanitarian labs is one of our most exciting projects. So innovation is continuing after all these years that I've been in the industry, and it's a real pleasure for us to watch the kinds of innovations that are going on today in additive manufacturing and 3D printing with our nominees. Hybrid manufacturing technology's AMBIT system achieves unprecedented flexibility in a single machine through a new innovation in beam delivery. Multi-photon optics state-of-the-art LithoProf 3D allows 3D prototyping of miniaturized designs 
in automated, scalable processes. Polaronics presents the Tungsten Lamb, unprecedented in its performance. The Tungsten Lamb is the world's first femtosecond fiber laser 3D printing machine. Okay, and the winner is Polaronics. <laughs> Based in the U.S., Polaronics focuses on advanced laser 3D manufacturing for the medical, defense, and aerospace industries. This is their first time as a finalist and their first win. Uh, thanks, everybody and thanks for the SPIE committee and, uh, and the judge committee give us the uh, recognition of uh, many years uh, of innovation and uh, many years of uh, hard working. And uh, especially uh, thanks to, uh, thanks to uh, all the engineers and teams uh, in the company uh, for them to work extremely hard, uh, for them to believe uh, what we are driving for, and uh, for them to uh, realize uh, the founder's intuition. Uh, that's very important. So uh, I just bring two uh, key, com uh, key engineers here, uh, so we have other people uh, still working uh, hard uh, in the company. So especially uh, when you establish company in Silicon Valley, uh, by nature, uh, you need innovation. Uh, that is the key for Silicon Valley company, and that is key for every company uh, to succeed. Uh, fortunately, we have uh, built uh, a culture to encourage uh, every engineer, every people in the company to work hard, uh, to work innovatively. So we have a culture we call 3P. So I think uh, many people has uh, the resonant uh, we call passion, uh, patience, and uh, persistence. Uh, many people can work hard, work passionately for a short time, um, but not many people can work consistently for a long time uh, to resolve many, many problems. Uh, to solve all the uh, issues, no matter it's big or small. Uh, not many people can have patience uh, to work continuously to drive uh, an idea uh, from research to development to real product. And not many people can work hard to solve all the problems uh, from customer. And, uh, so I really appreciate uh, our people uh, work hard to solve every tiny problem, uh, to make the product, product uh, accepted in the market and uh, accepted by customers. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for everybody. Thanks for SPIE. <laughs> Congratulations.